Umberto Eco's collection of essays, Inventing the Enemy, delves into the complex and multifaceted nature of human identity, fear, and the construction of the other. Through a meticulous exploration of historical and contemporary examples, Eco masterfully dissects the mechanisms behind the creation of enemies and the consequences of such inventions on societies. The essays within this collection provide profound insights into the human psyche and the political landscapes that shape our perceptions of those deemed different or threatening. Eco's overarching theme throughout the book revolves around the concept of the enemy. He skillfully argues that societies often require an other to define their own identity and values. These invented enemies serve as a powerful tool for unifying populations, rallying them around a common cause, and reinforcing the collective identity. Eco's analysis draws from a wide range of sources, from literature and history to contemporary politics, to illustrate this point. One compelling example from Eco's essays is his exploration of how literature has historically played a role in the invention of enemies. He examines works such as Bram Stoker's Dracula and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein to show how these novels personify societal fears and anxieties through their monstrous antagonists. These literary creations embody the other in its most extreme form, reflecting society's deepest fears and prejudices. Eco also discusses the role of propaganda in shaping and perpetuating the idea of the enemy. He draws parallels between Nazi Germany's use of propaganda to demonize Jews and contemporary political discourse that employs similar tactics to vilify certain groups or individuals. Through these comparisons, Eco highlights the danger of using propaganda to manipulate public opinion and foster division. Furthermore, Eco examines how the media contributes to the invention of enemies by sensationalizing and distorting information. He argues that sensationalism and the 24-hour news cycle can foster a climate of fear and suspicion, leading to the creation of perceived enemies. In our digital age, where information spreads rapidly, the media's role in constructing and reinforcing these narratives is more significant than ever. Eco's analysis is not confined to historical or literary examples, he also delves into contemporary politics and the invention of enemies in the modern world. He discusses the post-9-11 era, where the concept of the terrorist became a potent symbol of fear and otherness. Through the lens of terrorism, Eco illustrates how governments and institutions can manipulate the fear of the other to exert control and curtail civil liberties. Moreover, Eco's exploration of the double standard is particularly thought-provoking. He argues that societies often hold themselves to different moral standards when it comes to their actions versus those of their perceived enemies. This double standard allows for the justification of violence and injustice in the name of defending against the other. Eco's incisive analysis highlights the hypocrisy inherent in such thinking. Ultimately, Eco's essays compel readers to critically examine the construction.